All right, so in this video, we're gonna talk about the different kinds of measurements. Um, these are the three different types of systems of measurements. I'm not gonna really explain to you the difference, the history, or anything like that, but I will give you the conversions that are important to know among them. If you wanna go ahead and go online and look up, you know, there's great websites that you can do that. Um, but I'm just gonna point out the things that are important, because typically, in pharmacy world, we're going to be focusing on the metric system. So we'll be dealing with weight, when we deal with weight to weight, volume to volume, and weight to volume, it's always going to be grams to grams, milliliters to milliliters, and grams to milliliters. So if it's not grams to milliliters, you want to make sure that it's whatever the measurement is, you're going to convert it to grams per ml or ml per ml or gram to gram. So a few of them that are gonna be important is you're gonna to wanna to know that one pound, one pound is equal to 16 ounces or, and also one pound is equal to 454 grams. You also wanna know that one teaspoon is five milliliters and one tablespoon one tablespoon is 15 milliliters you'll also want to know that for every one kilogram there is 2.2 pounds for every one ounce there's going to be 30 milliliters for every one gallon there's 3,840 milliliters. And another one that's good to know is one pint is equal to 480 milliliters. And then also one grain is equal to 60 milliliters, okay? So these are gonna be the important ones that you're gonna to wanna to focus on. There's gonna there's a lot more if you wanna practice with them, um, but this is gonna be the typical ones that you're gonna to wanna to focus on. So don't worry about the apothecary system right there. That's not what this is. But something else that's good to know is in the metric system, you're gonna have a kilo, a micro, and a milli. Sorry, I did those backwards, but. So a kilo, real quick, let me rewind. So there's gonna be base units, okay? So a base unit is gonna either be a gram, a liter, or a meter. In pharmacy, we don't worry about the meters because you're never gonna say, okay, I want 12 meters of sodium chloride. You know, you're not gonna do meters. You're, it's always gonna be in grams or liters. And so this is gonna be your base unit. So a kilogram is gonna be 1,000 grams, okay? A microgram is gonna be one millionth, one millionth of a gram, and a milliliter is gonna be one thousandth of a gram. And so that's gonna be for your basic conversions. You wanna make sure that you know and you understand the one thousand, one millionth, and one thousandth, and the different base units, and then also you're going to want to understand and know by heart these different conversions so you can convert throughout the, the course and throughout pharmacy.